Well, hey, y'all. Here's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. And you know what, dadgummit? Raindrops are falling on my head. This rain, it just will not let up. So, but uh, let me get this camera situated. And we're going to take a little walk around. And you know what? It don't matter if it's raining because the GoPro is waterproof. All right, y'all, let's get our mosey on. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oops, really? Uh, hmm, something's eating on these guys right here. I'm gonna take a good look around. Ah, look at there. Mr. Tomato Horn Worm. Look at that. Look at this guy. Really? Hmm. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the mater plants. That is amazing. And guess what? These guys shouldn't get to eat on. Here you go, y'all. See who gets it first. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I tell you what. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, running, traveling blackberry. Looking good. Y'all, I have spent a couple of days getting caught up with grass. And you know what? With all this rain that we've been getting, it don't even look like I cut grass. <laughs> I tell you what. Um, but I tell you what, just seeing that, uh, that old hornworm on the maters here's a big bed and big raised bed of maters see all the clusters on there what's going on here got some splitting it may be wow that's a nice cluster right there that's looking good <clears throat> in may oh we got a couple of them that are starting to ripen up i don't know if you can see that that's pretty but i think with all the rain that we've been getting uh, it may cause some of these uh, these maters to split. What's going on with the radishes here? Well, uh, looks like something's been eating at it, but what I don't know. Um, here's all my Georgia hybrids looking all crazy. Up, oh, see some more. See some more. A uh, few worms on there, and I sprayed these guys down, but. Uh, rain we've been getting I may just get ahead and pull these guys I'm not really sure yet uh, that looks awful that looks really awful I may just get ahead and pull them but uh, really gonna have to start keeping an eye on these tomatoes pretty good uh, that old tomato hornworm was getting his eat on mm, me so hungry and uh, the trivial thing about it is you can't see them they like blend in with the uh with the tomatoes with the leaves and all of that so we're definitely going to keep an eye on that um one of the telltale signs is if you start seeing some black specks on your leaves that's a good possibility that you have a tomato hornworm or some kind of worm on there because they come jokers will eat all your eat on your uh, on your uh, your plant and it'll take a duke and leave it on your plant so we got something up in here that's really getting after this kale I don't know I don't know well we may have to uh, get rid of this kale plant I'm not really sure but uh, yeah, he was hooked on there getting his heat on. So we're really gonna have to look at these uh, these tomato plants pretty good. And you can see right here, see that's a telltale sign of a worm on your tomato plants. It'd just be a stalk and all the leaves would be gone because that's what they like eating, the leaves. Oh, never noticed that, wow. Oh, check out these cayennes. These cayennes are getting it on pretty good. Wow, 
Look at that. I'm going to have to harvest some of these. Those are doing real well. And uh, this other. This uh, this is a, I want to say another yellow pear tomato. He's getting a lot of fruit. Come on him. Just taking a look at everything. See them leaves are curling over real bad. And it's weird because it's just uh, this one and I haven't really seen it on any of the other ones. Here's some more. They're looking real good. I can't wait for these guys to start turning because I love some some yellow pear tomatoes. Look at this guy over here. This was the bed that actually I thought wasn't going to make it. I don't know if y'all can see that. But uh, look there. He's putting on some yellow pears right here. And this is the bed that uh, I didn't think was going to make it because of the possibly the soil mixture. And these right here are Creole tomatoes. See the high winds that we've been getting? Look at there. Done knocked the tomato off. Something's been eating at it. But uh, yeah. These are looking okay. I don't know. I may. I just may pull these guys. I'm not really sure. They haven't gotten on any size. We'll just have to see. Whoa, look at all the jalapenos. We've got a bunch of them. Gonna let these grow for a little while longer and then we'll start harvesting jalapenos off of these. I have two more plants and I actually have three that need to be put out. Okay. Oh, wow, there's the onions. They looking good. I don't know if onions really like as much water as what they're getting, but they sure are getting a bunch of water. Here's those uh, carrots that we, we replanted. I don't know. We have to keep an eye on that. Blackberry's looking good. The other blackberry. Fruit coming on. Let's we'll see what's going on with you, Mr. Kale. Mr. Red Russian. You looking okay. I don't see anything new on you. I might just go ahead and snap off all these bad ones. You should get your grow back on. Wow, I hate that. Gosh, I hate that. But, it's just one of those things. But we're going to keep an eye on you this time. Here's our, uh, our blue dwarfs. They're looking okay. Uh, not too bad, I don't guess. There's a few of them that need to come off because they have a little bit of aphid damage, but not too bad. I sure would like to build me up a greenhouse one day. Be a controlled environment and we could uh showing off keep an eye on these guys there's one right there look at that a little small one I don't know if you can see that man with these jokers will do some damage they sure will but hey it's all a part of uh, gardening right preventative measures uh, let's see, look at the size of this thing. Let me see. I don't know if he's got, yeah. His, uh, if y'all can see that. Well, that's a pretty sunflower. Onions are looking good. Here's our patio mater, looking good. Asparagus is definitely looking good. I don't know what this yellow. I don't know if y'all can see that, but if anybody's ever seen a yellow mustard or uh, yellow mushroom such as this one, let me know what y'all think. I don't know what it is. I would opt to say that it is not edible, but uh, it likes growing in my asparagus for some strange reason. And I hope it's not uh, hindering anything on the asparagus. Look at that. That guy right there needs to go. All right, that's all pool stuff right there. Uh, cucumbers, they looking okay. We came out here and harvested uh, quite a few. Oh, there's some lemons, lemon cukes that need to go. Look at that. Wow, 
show you another one right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think it is anyway. I'm going to sit in right there. But uh, these guys are doing their thing. It's like a jungle. Oh, look at all of them stink bugs. Gosh almighty. Look at them. Stink bug. If y'all can see that. See you. Gosh almighty. Look at them. There's another one. Good night. Alright. Beans are looking good. Oh. Never noticed that. Look right here. We got some beans coming out, y'all. Oh, sweet. We got a bunch of wasps up in here. I don't know if they do the same thing as a bee does, but I'm going to let them do their thing because I don't like messing with wasps. Whoa, we got a bunch of beans coming on. Hope y'all can see that. Really cool. And they're coming out on the walkway, too. So come out here and have to move them back nice pretty sweet oh there's a phantom pooper cat oh these are black beans oh wow okay and those right there uh, I want to say spaghetti squash but uh, wow okay there's some squash on there looking okay Cool. And uh, this right here is a wild weed. <laughs> Pull him up. No. Oh, gracious almighty. Get over there. Wow. Okay. That's pretty dang cool. All right. Let's head up this hill. see maybe we'll take a walk around the other side see what's going on over there slowly making our way there let's see what we got oh let's look at these shiitake logs they're rocking on they're getting a full dose of water though hopefully not too much Look at that. Hmm. Never really. I don't think that's the first one that I've seen. On these logs. Slugs. Hmm. Well. Everybody else is looking okay. Well, and I tell you what, I can't wait till these things start fruiting. Cause that's gonna be really cool. Yeah. Everybody's looking good. If you can see this, uh, see that mycelium's taking over real good. But these guys have been getting a lot of rain here lately. Um, I hate to talk them up because I don't want to create a moldy environment for them. I think that's going to be it, y'all. It's uh, hmm. I have to get out in and do some pruning. That's where it looking. Hmm. Um, well, everybody else is looking okay. I just hate we're getting all this rain. It's just uh, the rain is just unbearable. It's just uh, it's making the grass grow. The garden's getting watered, maybe too much, I don't know. But, you know what, hey, we'll take it and we're going to drive on. Alright y'all, I figured I'd show you what was going on in our raised beds, uh, hit our home in the sticks. Um, it's starting to rain, uh, Dan sees lightning and hears thunder, he's finna get him some yonder, and I mean take cover. Mm. It's, uh, mm. 
it's not on the wings and slow down a little bit, but uh, nah, it it just looks like it's gonna get bad again. But um, anyways, I hope everybody's doing well and okay, uh, especially on this Monday. And uh, if you like the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to. Uh, with that being said, y'all, it's not about all the things you can get. It's going to be really about all the things you can give back. And we'll see you in the next video.